Winter weather can bring out cold hearted people who are just trying to scam homeowners out of a quick buck as the cold has reached Kansas City. The now KC's Mackenzie Nelson shows us how scammers are just starting to warm up. This feels a little sketchy. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Mary Flan had an interesting encounter late last night in her Hyde Park neighborhood. He was just like, oh, well, I uh, came and did work for you in your backyard before. I came and like raked your leaves. I was like, no. You haven't done that for us. I think you're at the wrong house. Mary's home surveillance cameras caught a man walking up to her front door and fake knocking on it before she spoke to him through her ring doorbell. Yeah, I was, uh, was going to see if he had a cup. The man can be heard asking for a cup to use to salt the driveway. After Mary said no, he told her it was already done. Then he was just like, okay, well, I already salted your driveways, so you owe me $20. So I'm not giving you $20. Mary didn't fork over any cash, but she did post the videos to a neighborhood watch group on Facebook. It's super weird. You just have to wonder, like, what his intentions actually were. Some people in the group recognize the man. Kind of the same stories over and over, with the same description. Kansas City police were called and say this is happening in other neighborhoods around the city. While soliciting is not illegal, other charges like prowling or trespassing passing could be filed because that's a suspicious party and, and you don't know what exactly they're up to or what they're capable of and we will absolutely respond out on a suspicious party call and uh, try to get that person to to leave to determine what they're doing and to stop what it is that they're doing. Mary and other neighbors say they feel safe and they'll continue to use social media so no case goes cold in their neighborhood. That Facebook page has been super helpful in just keeping in the loop in what's going on in Kansas City. Mackenzie Nelson for the now KC social media. Definitely a very powerful tool. Kansas City police say officers will be doing more patrol in the neighborhoods where those reports were made.